Welcome back. In this one, we are looking at arrays. Okay, so an array, as we have learned what variables are, an array is simply a variable that contains other variables or multiple data than one. Because as we have seen, a variable can, can carry one item inside it. However, an array can carry multiple items inside it. So think of an array like uh, this tower, for example. Let's say these are compartments here. And in this first compartment, there's a, a word or a number. And in the second one, there's something else. And the third one, and so on and so forth. So you just have to know how to store inside, how to put an item specifically here or there, and how to read from these locations. So this stack in an array can be infinite because it's simply a location in your computer's memory. So if your memory is big, your array can be as big as you want. Okay, so let's see an example of how to create an array. So for example, I can put, you still need the dollar sign because an array is also a, is still a variable. So I'm simply going to use simple names like A, for example. So that's my array. Now, normally you would do this, you'd say, Uh oh, you do that and then we echo this. So this is a variable and I've stored that item inside it. However, to change this to an array, all I have to do is give it a location. For example, I'd say zero, something like that. Or let me say one for simplicity's sake. So all I'm saying is that this is an array. Now inside this array, in the first location, save that. And then let's echo that. Now the issue here is if we go back and load this page and refresh, we'll see that array to string conversion, this is an error right here because echo cannot be used to error to echo out arrays. You have to use something else called print R or print readable. So what you do is you say print r open bracket put your variable inside and then close bracket don't forget the semicolon and then let's refresh and you see that in location one there's a word there it's an array with location one and a word okay so now if i repeat this but then put something else here just another word and say baby june and then i put Two there. So now you see that this array contains on the first location contains that on the second one it contains that. However, arrays can begin at number zero. This is where they start from. They start from zero instead of one. So zero is the first location. So in here, let me store a number. Okay. So you can store anything, a number here, a word here, something else. But here, this is the way it is. Now, if I refresh, you see that in location zero, there's a one. In location one, there's this word. And in that location, there's something else. Now, there's a better way to display an array using printer. I'll use some HTML a bit. I'll say echo. Now, echo can be used to echo anything apart from arrays. So I'll use echo instead. I'll say echo three. Now, this is a, an HTML tag has nothing to do with PHP. I'm simply using it to see better how an array looks like. So you can do this, but remember this is not part of PHP, so don't mind that. If I do this, this is what I see. So th this, in my opinion, looks much better. So just like we've seen this cabinet with one, two, three, four, five locations here, we are creating locations in memory as well from one, uh, What's this one, one variable with multiple items inside it. Now, if I happen to go down here and I don't know how many items already are, because for me to put a number here, if for example, you see, I repeat two, I say A2 is June. And then again, I say A2 is June two. It means I have replaced what was in A2 and I've added something else in A2 again. So what I'll see is June 2, and I won't see this June here. As you can see, if I refresh, there's June 2 now. 
Now, if you've noticed, I need to know how many items are already in the array in order for me to know the last number. But if I don't know that, all I have to do is remove the number from there and automatically it's going to add to the end of the array. So this one will be three. It's going to be zero, one, two, and then it's going to figure it out on its own and say three. So if I go back here, that's what you see. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. Now, if I don't want to, to print out the entire array, I just want to see one item from the array. I can simply go and echo out one item. So how do I do that? I'll bring back the array and then tell it which one I want to echo. So in this case, I want to echo number two, for example, which is June. So echo the item number two in the array. So if I refresh, there's June, as we would expect. Okay, so this is exactly how you read into an array or how you write into an array. It's that simple. If I keep putting these here, June three, June four, so it will keep adding to the end to the end. So I'm going to see all of these. Oh, unfortunately, I'm not printing all of them. So let me just say print readable, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, since I want to print all of them, I don't need to put a location here. I just need to close it like that. So I'm printing the entire array and this is what it is. Okay, so it's that simple. This is how an array actually works. So in the next video, we're going to look at what a loop is.